I was also persuaded by Professor Greg Cuthbertson, the Executive Dean of UNISA's College of Graduate, Educa Graduate Studies, that being in and out of the academy is, helps to value both what is inside and outside. To co quote his exact words, often our lens is distorted in favor of our position. So academics sometimes segregate the humanities by making them arcane and constructing them as, theo as a theoretical fiefdom, which limits the appreciation of them by those in other sectors who are in search of solutions and applications. The richness of the humanities is only realized by those who have been in each space, when those who have been in each space make the connection. So thank you, Professor Cuthbert, for the advice and reassurance. I'm, I'm at a double disadvantage today because I've left my glasses and I've printed my paper in a very small font. I can't think why. So if you see me squinting down at my paper, please bear with me. Uh, and I might have to abandon it at some stage. The, the other reason I, I'm here is that at this stage of life, I really appreciate the importance of celebrations and book launches are, are, are a great celebration. To carry forward the metaphor of engagement and marriage, book launches are like giving birth. The baby's there, it's the delivery. And so I really want to congratulate the authors. And um, if you can pass for me, uh, I really want to congratulate the, congratulate the authors. These are really uh, wonderful books. And I have got the first signature from our author who is present here today. So congratulations. <laughs> Um, congratulations also in their absence to press, uh, Professor Adiduntan and Professor Eja on the, on the launch of the Fruits of Labor. And to the publishers, I'm so excited that this has been about the collaboration between UNISA Press and the African Humanities Program. I understand that the UNISA Press, to quote Professor Hendricks, was selected at the, as a partner for this important project due to its continental reach and connections with universities across Africa. I have always believed that, believe this and hope that this takes UNISA Press to greater and greater heights as a, as a, as a project of promoting African scholarship and intercontinental uh, intellectual e exchange. I've been a very envious going through the program and I think it's to be recommended on, on, on several levels, both the African Humanities Program and the launch of the African Humanities Series. Uh, are truly, it's truly a program which can contribute to bridging the divides in our continent. As a pan-African project, as a project asserting the importance of the humanities, and as an exciting publishing initiative, it, it is a program, I think, whose time has come. It is important as a pan-Africanist project, and here I will refer to my own experiences and why it resonates particularly for me. Uh, once upon a time in the pre-digital era, I was one of a group of four officials from the Department of Labor at the, you know, from the university, from the uh, Department of Labor, the Department of Research and Development uh, in the newly independent Zimbabwe government. That was in the long ago days when Robert Mugabe was still popular and, um, and we were fresh and new in a new government and we were sent to study at EDEP in Senegal. And there I accounted for the first time a community of African scholars uh, at EDEP itself and in Codestria and Arwood. And the lofty goals of these two pan-African organizations resonated strongly with my own ideas, especially Awards aim to encourage innovative research approaches from an African perspective and lay the foundation of an African network of women researchers.